There's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> Never mind. Ghosts are real. So, yeah. This is this is the America. I did watch rewatch BBC Ghost and I have been watching BBC Ghost for a while. I don't know how many I've done review wise. So this might be weird, but this might be not. But I wanted to review this one first, even if I didn't review B US, UK verse. But uh, I have already watched BBC. That's what I'm getting at here with this. And overall, I love it. I think it's really interesting and really exciting of what it is. I don't know why. I just love it. I think it's entertaining. It's just fun to watch. I 100% just, it's just fun. There are a couple of moments I would like to point out. So, the one thing which I like, and someone's already pointed this out, but I agree with this, and I find this really interesting. In the UK one, the sort of, like, person who can, like, move objects, which in the UK is a failed, po a failed politician, in the US is someone who was sort of like a, sort of like, sort of like, Wolf of Wall Street type character. And... If you see the UK, the UK 54321 deliberately pushes her off being like, oh, that, she's gone. And does politician being like, oh, uh, what counts as a push? And it's like, jeez, okay, we're going to that level, I see. I'm a level of what the fuck? Also, I just realized something. But the U US one, the whole thing fails like it did in the UK. But it's like, Do you, know what? Do you know what? I'm going to try again. This means nothing, but I'm going to try again for the love of everything. I am going to push this off its ledge if it's the last thing I do. And then all of a sudden, push off. Yeah, we do it. Yeah, we do Oh, wait, she's coming. She can't see this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, watch out. And then she falls. UK, a murderer. US, legitimately an accident. Because they tried to warn her, but at that point she couldn't see ghosts. And I love it. There's certain parallels with the two characters. Like, war veteran from two specific very historic wars with um, certain leanings. In both season one, they kind of lean to, like, them not knowing. I don't think they reveal it until, like, season two. I don't think. At least not on a big scale. You have the oldest one being a Viking and a caveman. You have the two sort of old, uh, more old-fashioned ladies in a sort of like old-fashioned style dress. And then I think that's where it roughly ends. Because you have a couple of others which I find is interesting. And a couple of powers work. But the US ghosts have, I don't think of this, I think there's only one case with this one. But they kind of see how the powers work. And some ghosts come in and then come out. Like, this is the first time you see it. But you have the attic girl who has another episode just come in and then leaves. The excuse is, oh, she's just been sleeping. Which I'm like, I'm fine with just the idea of like, yeah, she's just been sleeping in the attic. We just don't do anything about it. And it's really, really interesting to think about. But yeah, overall, I do think it's really interesting and in how they interact with the ghosts. Also, I just realized you have, um, I don't know, they're also scouts. You have a scout person with the hour and night with a cheating wife. That's going to come up more later, but that's also interesting. But again, it's really good and absolutely 100% worth watching. So I hope you enjoy and good night.